Are you running a Google Ads campaign without tracking your conversions accurately? What's going on everybody? My name is Bailey from Creatively Innovative and today I'm going to be showing you the importance of setting up form tracking for your Google Ads campaign and I'll be showing you the step-by-step -step process on doing it properly. Form tracking is just how it sounds. It is the tracking of a conversion that comes from a form submission on your landing page or website. On a landing page or website, you will likely have a request a quote form. It'll ask for their first name, last name, address, the services that they requested, and whatever information you'd like to get from them. When they submit this form, we need to tell our Google Ads campaign that our ad actually did bring in a form submission. And I'm gonna show you how to set that up. It's extremely important to set this up because if you're running a Google Ads campaign without tracking, you don't know what the performance of your campaign actually is. For example, if you're with an agency or running these on your own and you see that you have X amount of clicks, you have X amount of spend, you might think that your campaigns are doing really well. They're showing up in front of people and they're getting clicks, but really that doesn't tell you anything. As you can see, we talk about in almost every one of our videos, tracking tells you everything and the amount of leads you get in a Google Ads campaign tells you everything. If you're not getting leads, your Google Ads campaign isn't actually performing. Your Google Ads campaign might be bringing in clicks, it might be bringing in impressions, and that's all cool, but if you're not getting leads, you're just spending money into thin air. So you need to have your leads tracked accurately. So I just wanna quickly dive into how to set up the form submission tracking for your Google Ads campaign. The very first thing we need to track form submissions in Google Ads is actually a form. So you'll need to set up a form on your landing page or your website that looks something like this basically just request the information that you would like from your customer the names the emails all the contact information and then the services that they request our goal here is to make sure that when your potential client fills this form out with all of their information and they click the get a quote button or they fully submit the form we want that to be tracked in the Google Ads campaign so we know that our ad actually is bringing in leads. All right, so now that we have a form on our landing page or our website, we just need to set up the tracking on the back end. First thing we're gonna do is go over to our Google Ads campaign. We're going to click Tools and Settings and then Conversions. Once we get into conversions, you'll see that we have conversion actions, and this is going to be your form submissions, your phone calls, and all those types of things. What we need to do is click new conversion action, then we're going to have a website conversion action, a form submission. We're going to paste our landing page domain into this box here. Now that Google Ads has scanned our domain and knows where the form submission will be coming from, we'll need to add a conversion action manually. So we're going to add a conversion action manually. We're going to set this up as a submit lead form, and then we're going to name it lead form submission. And then we're going to adjust some settings here. This is something that you'll need to figure out what works best for you. We obviously have something that works best for us. We would change some of these settings and then we would create the conversion action. Now that we have the conversion action, we're going to have to set up the connection between the lead form submission and Google Ads. Right now, we just have a structure of how we want Google Ads to process the lead form submissions, but now we have to set up the connection between the two. So we're going to go over to our new conversion action. Now we need to set up our Google tag. The Google tag basically does all of the tracking for where the lead came from, what type of lead it is, and it's basically the connection between the two platforms. So we're going to add a tag. We're going to install the tag ourselves, And now we need to add this Google tag snippet into our landing page platform. So now we're going to copy the snippet once we copied the snippet. So we have a Google Ads JavaScript script code that we've set up. We're going to edit this. Now we're going to throw in our Google code right here, and then we would save and close. Once we do that, we've established the connection between Landingy, our landing page software, and Google Ads. The last thing we need is to set up the code to tell Google Ads what event it should be tracking. 
So right now we have the connection between Landingy, our landing page software and Google ads, but Google ads does not know exactly what event to capture. So that's what we're going to be setting up right now. We just need to head right back over to our Google ads tag and then we need to take the event snippet. We're just gonna bring that right back over to our landing page software like we did previously. We'll just throw that into our form submission JavaScript and then we'll save and close. What that event snippet does is it tells Google that every time somebody submits a form and gets directed to the thank you page, we want that to be tracked as a conversion. That means that somebody fully filled out the form submission, we got an email and we got a lead. So now Google understands the connection between Landingy and what event we need to be tracked. Now, every time somebody submits a form on your landing page or website, you're going to see one lead pop up in your Google Ads account. The last thing I wanna go over is something referring to our previous video using CallRail software. CallRail is a great tracking platform, probably the only one you should be using for your business, for phone calls and form submissions. Setting up form submission tracking on CallRail is extremely easy. In our CallRail account in our previous video, we linked our Google Ads account. So all we need to do now is go to external forms, turn on external form tracking, and now every time a form submission comes from your landing page, it will tell Google Ads, and then Google Ads will tell CallRail. So now CallRail will also see that form submission. With each of these steps, you now have the tools it takes to properly set up form submission tracking for your Google Ads account. You know how to connect your landing page software or your website to Google Ads, then you know how to show Google Ads what event you need to be tracked, and you also know how to track that lead in CallRail so you can double check your conversion numbers. That's really all I had today. I hope this video was helpful to you. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.